Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco Group YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to configure this HK Vision IP speakers by using the IBM S4200 software on your PC or laptop. So for HK Vision IP speakers, they will be generally separated into four types. This will be the horn type, this will be the ceiling type, and we have cabinet type and also column type. So for every type of ceiling of speakers, there will be special functions. For example, this horn speaker can carry out functions like two-way audio, whereas these ceiling speakers can use Bluetooth where we can connect our mobile devices and this will act as a normal Bluetooth speaker. So for demonstration, I will be using this 7W horn speaker and also this 6W ceiling speaker. By using these size speakers, speakers, I can achieve functions like playing audio files, broadcast, live broadcast, schedule broadcast, or even text synthesis and also lastly will be event linkages from your IP cameras and this speaker can be linked to your IP cameras events. And I will be showing all of that in the video later. So after powering out your device, you can proceed to open your IVMS for the 200 software. We will go under device management. Under online device, you can see the two speakers that I will be using for this demonstration. They will be under inactive status. So what I will do now is to activate them. I will select both of them. I will proceed to activate. Create the password that you want for these devices. And then you can you have the option to enable HK Connect. Just that if you want to add into HK Connect for other functions, but I will disable this for now. I will click on OK. Then process for a while. You can see that both of them will be active. The next thing I will do I will be doing is I will change the IP for these speakers. I will select one of them, click on the globe logo here, select DHCP. And then input the password that you have just used to activate the speakers just now. Click on OK. And then we'll do it for the, the other speakers as well. So that's it. You can do a quick refresh here. You can see that the IP has already changed. So the next thing I will be adding this into my device. I'll select both of them. And then click on Add. The username will be admin. And the password will be the, the password that you set just now. So another thing to take caution here for speakers, the port here will be 80. And I'll click on add. So you can see both of the devices will be online. I will create the name. I will click on edit. The name will be speaker 1. And the other one will be speaker 2. So after adding the devices into IVMS, the next thing you need to do, you need to go to main menu, go to this broadcast. So if your IVMS doesn't have this broadcast module, you can try reinstalling it or you can try to upgrade your IVMS version to the latest one. So as you can see, these will be the two speakers that I just added just now. So in order to play audio, which will be the first thing that I will be demonstrating, we will need to go to material library. You can add your media in this default one or also you can add a new library so for testing I will be adding two simple audio files this will be the one and after you add it you can have an example you can listen to that you can edit the names and you also can delete it so after you've, you've successfully added that you can go back to your broadcast console select the speakers that you want to play that audio on you can configure the volume by pressing this button here this batch adjust volume you can edit all the volume, like including Bluetooth input, audio in, mic input, or you know, channel output, and then select on OK. After that, you select the two speakers that you want to play the audio. Go under here, the play audio part, and select the uh, audio file that you want to play. So just for demonstration, I will play short audio files on both of these speakers. Welcome Traveller Function that I will be demonstrating is Schedule Broadcast For this function, you will need to make sure that there will be MP3 files under your, test, your material library And then for the setup, we will move on to Schedule Broadcast You can select Add, you can add the names for that And then select the speakers that you want to do the Schedule Broadcasting You can change your dates And for the task type for day schedule, that will be one day, and then for week schedule, you can select add on every single day, which day you want to play that. I will proceed for day schedule. I will click on add, and then I will click on the audio files that I wanted to play. 
I can select the execution time just for an example I will select it at 12 p.m. every day and then you can select it as you want to play it once or you can loop it for how long the duration you can set this as well I'll click on OK so the broadcast priority will leave it at 5 and then the volume you can set if you want it to load it down this that will be the other option I'll click on OK so that's it after you set this, set this, you can see under the applying status will be not applied. You will need to do one more thing, which is click on this apply task. After this is applied, the MPG files that you selected will play through the speakers when the date is triggered. The next function that we will be demonstrating is this speak in real time function. For this function, you can speak through your PC or laptop mic and the speakers will broadcast out so just like the other functions just select the speakers that you want to do this real-time speaking select both of them proceed to click this speak in real time and you can speak on that and the speakers will broadcast you can pause it and also you can cancel it this is the demonstration of real-time speaking welcome, welcome to this so the last function that we'll be demonstrating by using this software is this text notification thing so the same thing that we did for all these functions just now you need to select the speakers move on to text notification you can select that you can input the text that you want to display out just for an example this will be the one that i would want to play through the speakers i can select the repetition times the language or even male or female i'll click on male and i will start playing this will be the demonstration by using text synthesis Good morning. Welcome Welcome to thank you for joining today. So as you can see, I've already added a 1143 into IVMS just to show you the event linkage to IP speaker broadcast. So under event configuration, I will go under video event, go under the camera, select the camera. Go under event that you want to set the linkage to. You can edit linkage. Under that, you can see the two speakers that you have added into IVMS. You can select broadcast linkage. Select the speakers that you want to link to and you can select the audio files that you want them to play when the event is triggered and the play mode will be similar to the broadcast. So that's it for the configuration part of this IP speakers. Hope this video can help you and thank you so much for watching and see you again. Visco.